today we're gonna see if I can make best action IDW Leo better. So I already think these figures are great and I really like them, but I just always think I can make everything better. And that's kind of what the show is. We're just making things that didn't exist, but now every company is making every single version of the turtles. So I'm going to take the one that they made and make a few little changes to try and make it better. First thing, they made them like the figures are pretty big but their heads are a little small. The heads are small in the comics but they're better proportioned I think so I'm just adding a little bit to the face to chubby up the cheeks and the faces that all these guys have, the main face they come with, I found uh, where it comes from. It's issue 100, uh, I think the first issue of City at War and they're all making this kind of angry face and coming at you but then as they're face gets skinnier their head gets bigger where they just made the face skinnier and not the head bigger anyway I still think these are great and I went with the gray version or the black and white version because it's like a blank canvas I do have the regular and the battle ready version but I'm doing both the faces and I'm using epoxy sculpt that's what I've been sculpting with this whole time and then I have the silicone tool with a little bit of water to smooth everything over and get it right in the right place and I'm using a little rolling pin to flatten it out so I can just cut the little pieces that I want and not put too much on because I don't want to add too much to their faces because their face should be small but a little like better proportion to their body now I thought the raf head would probably fit well on the Leo body just to check it out and I realized they have some flashing that I need to clean off. I got the inside of the head with a knife and then the neck stem with the nail file which is what I'm sanding the heads with just to smooth them out and take a little bit off from what I added on. There's a bunch of different versions of these turtles throughout the comics because different artists draw them different and sometimes you'll have one artist draw the cover and another drawing the pages. So I'm using some boiled water and it takes me a few times because I'm impatient but it's softening up all the plastic so I can pull all the pieces apart that I want to take off. So eventually I get it done and I have a towel there so it can dry for a bit and that's what it looks like without all the gear. But I thought these versions are way better to customize because I don't have to prime them first because I would have to paint the whole thing like white or gray and then get started. But the epoxy sculpt is gray and the figures are already gray so now I just cover everything with a thin coat of a matte acrylic varnish and that's going to work as my primer because the less layers of paint that you add the better it is just because then it's not going to scratch when you move the joints and stuff and I don't know it's just I find thinner layers is better. And this, it already has kind of an underpainting because some is lighter gray and some is darker gray. So that's going to work to my advantage. I have a cinnamon brown and you watch I paint the really light gray on the plastron and then the sides are a darker gray and then the shell is black. So it all kinds of look like, kind of looks like a different shades of brown, but really it's just the same brown. And now I go over the other parts that are going to be brown, the belt and the strap and the scabbards, but they're not going to be this brown. I'm just getting a base layer of brown on them for because I have it out and I pour it a lot. Why not? And then I can go thinner on the next one. But now I'm dry brushing that same brown on all his wraps just to make them have a little more definition and detail also on the wraps on his hands. I get all the hands. I'm giving him four extra hands because that's I guess what he came with. I don't know if I got the exact ones. I might have mixed some with uh, rafts. Now I have a uh, satin bark brown. So satin is the shine so it's a little bit shiny and then I cover the belt and the scabbards and just there's some wraps that are holding the scabbards together and I went with a darker brown. It was a satin real brown and the satin shine I like when I'm trying to make things look like leather. Now I have, um, what's that, raw sienna and I'm just dry brushing over all the shell. I put a lot on the front shell and then dry brush a little on the side shells and then I also dry brush on his back shell or just the shell, 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 shell. And then I go back to the bark brown because I forgot to do the pads that are on his wrists and forearms and I want to get those the same color as the belt. 
because there's a lot of browns but I want them all to be kind of different and um, now I have a daffodil yellow it's just a really light um, yellow but I'm kind of pale and I'm dry brushing that's gonna bring out all the details even more because I'm just putting a little bit on the brush and then wiping most of it off and then spreading what's on there as far as it'll go so it's just gonna stick to the edges and add some weathering and detail and um, yeah make the leather look a little more beat up and used now because I added on this head I added to the mask part I'm just using a tropical blue just to kind of make it match before I move on because uh, all the masks are gonna get a darker blue. Now I have uh, raw sienna again because the daffodil yellow, it was showing too bright and picking up too many edges. These guys have a lot more like scratches and details than they do in the actual comics. So I wanna downplay that a bit by going um, not so light on the edges because that makes everything, it looks really, really popped out. And uh, too much going on. I have uh, Hunter Green and now I'm going in just all the kind of cracks and gaps and the definition of the muscles, any darker spots or lower spots and if I get a little on the raised spots that's fine but I want to go mostly into all the crevices and uh, cracks and details and get them ready because I'm gonna go on with a lighter green over everything but do more of a dry brush uh, it's like I'm adding more gradient just like it was already gray in different shades of gray so I'm going darker to light I guess you can only say the same thing so many times and it still makes sense I use white because the one head had pupils but I don't want pupils I just like the white and I have a leaf green is gonna be my main green so I'm going over all the skin and um, just like with the gradient of the gray the places with the where I put the dark green are gonna be darker and the places where it was just gray oh I usually put that on mute the places where it's just gray will be brighter and um, yeah Sometimes I'll just paint it the solid color and then I'll go with a wash to get in all the gaps But this one I go the other way around I guess I went in all the gaps and then I go on all the raised spots So I'm getting I guess a regular amount on the brush and I go over the raised spots And then when the brush is pretty much empty I just dry brush a little around from where I put it So it gets a little bit of the dark green but still in the deeper cracks the darker it is and that's gonna add uh, shading and also he has different colors in his skin because um, I don't know he's a mutant so I'm going it's closer to what they did with the battle ready or it's gonna be like what they wanted to do with the battle ready I guess or what they tried to do but I still like the battle ready I thought Leo was a little dark but I'm gonna use that to do a different version of Leo and I wanted to make their heads bigger because in most of the artwork I was using you'll see the little pictures or just the covers and stuff that I was using for reference I have a bigger more turtley face and what else could I do other than paint them I wanted to you know make it my own and now I have the yellow again after I just covered everything with the matte acrylic varnish to seal every everything up and I dry brushed the daffodil yellow over the wrist uh, areas now I painted all the little buttons and that belt clip gold but I decided I wanted to go silver so now I'm going over them all with silver just because the swords are silver so it matches better and in the artwork sometimes it's silver Silver, sometimes it's gold sometimes it's gunmetal but he's gonna have silver and that's what he looks like well that's his back and that's the original or well the regular one it's not the one I started with because I don't have two of those I don't have any of those even though the gray was my favorite version out of all of them well the three different versions that I own but they were the best to customize because it's a blank canvas so I'm gonna have I think Mikey coming up next week and um, that's him versus the IDW shredder that I made uh, maybe a year ago. We'll see. Well, no, we'll, not. we'll see. I just can't remember. But um, until next week, uh, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.